Hey guys, Automotive Point Man Michael Bain touching base with you. Guys, and we're back today for the long awaited review of the 2018 Volkswagen Atlas. So, now what I have here specifically is the 2018 Volkswagen Atlas SEL trim level, which I'm going to go through in detail with you. So, stay tuned. So the first thing guys I want to talk about here is as you see, uh, all trim levels from launch edition all the way up to the SEL Premium, whether it's four cylinder or V6, which we'll talk about because you have a, a two options there, is the LED headlights and taillights. Uh, I think Volkswagen did a phenomenal job uh, bringing more um, upper end features uh, from previous years in the Atlas on the standard trim levels. So maybe you're on a budget. For those of you who need that third row, who maybe need that all-wheel drive, that option is available for you. And so, talking about this, not to get too, too uh, in-depth under the hood for a lot of you um, mechanics and whiz heads under the hood, is the biggest thing you need to know is it's now coming with a six-year, 72,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty. So everything electrical, or on standard models before, within Volkswagen and other similar competitors, Get the standard three year 36,000 miles. So, I wanted to touch on that briefly with you. Now, follow me right this way. What I want to break down for you is whether you're getting the launch SC, SC with the tech or the SCL, the wheels are going to be the same. So, you're going to get the 18 inch alloy wheels with the all season or all terrain tires, right? Now, whether it's the four cylinder front wheel drive or the V6 all wheel drive, and the V6 all wheel drive is what we're looking at today, right? LED outside turn indicators, breakaway outside mirrors. Those who are in the city, maybe a biker hits it, or maybe you're a, you're a driver and you hit something, right? The cool thing too as well, uh, chassis keyless entry, which you guys are familiar with. However, it's on all four handles. Now that's one of the biggest convenience factors and features uh, that I think Volkswagen is bringing to the 2018 Volkswagen Atlas. With the SE tech and above, you're now getting blind spot mod, which I think is a phenomenal feature. Uh, but you guys can look more into it. Just kind of want to touch and go on that so you guys can see that here. Three rows. Now as well, too. Uh, notice with the SCA, you're actually getting proximity alerts or proximity sensors on the back and front of the vehicle. And that basically shows you um, what's around you, especially when you're parking, how close you can get to the uh, object, car behind you. Now guys, what I want to talk to you as well is uh, the rear, the, the trunk lift gate here. So with an SE tech and above, it's actually a power lift gate. And then the SEL Premium would give you that lift gate with the uh, movement on the foot underneath, right? Something like this, right? Just the SEL doesn't have that button. Still a soft button, comes up automatically here, so you see for convenience there. Now, as you can see, the third row is down completely. Tremendous amount of volume in cargo space. So if you didn't have more than four or five passengers, you don't need that third row. But if you needed that cargo space, maybe you're going to the beach, going on a long extended road trip, that type of thing, you can see the benefit in having that there. Now, as well, underneath here, this here, you can see we have some cargo management space here. We can throw an extra couple items. This is where the spare is underneath. This is the locking mechanism where you just unscrew. You can pop out the uh, spare from underneath. And then with the car coming with three or 36,000 miles of uh, worth of roadside assistance, when the third party company comes out, that towing company, you just point to the back and let them know where the spare is. That type of thing there. And then, one of my favorite pieces, push down button, no problem. And obviously, uh, vehicle comes standard with the back of the camera. As you know, the back of the camera is now come standard with all the XYZ vehicles. Now I'm back inside the vehicle and I wanted to give you guys full perspective. Uh, and one of the biggest things with the Volkswagen Atlas is that third row, so I kind of wanted to demonstrate here two ways to bring it up. There's a pull down lever here from the back, right? Or if you're coming in from the uh, passenger rear doors, lever here, which you come completely bring up no problem, right? So you can still see the spacing from perspective here. Now I'm sitting in the back row. Now, I'm gonna bring this completely back. And I don't know if the cameraman can see how much space is actually here. So it's not a make-believe uh, third row like a lot of those other three-row passenger vehicles. What you have here is a tremendous amount of headroom, leg room, shoulder room. So if you're on a long trip, extended stay, I can take a nap, no problem. And as you can see, all the space I have here. So a tremendous amount of space. 
Now, as well, let's say I came out here as quick as that was. Now, as you can see here, it's all about convenience, ease, and ease of access. As you see, the, the, the seat can actually be moved forward and back with occupants in the rear of the seat. No, that's not movie magic. That's the Volkswagen Atlas. And so, again, to give full perspective here, this seat in front is all the way back, and you can see I still have a tremendous amount of space. Because, guys, I understand seeing is believing. And that's what we do here at Commonwealth Motors. Nose down. Too much sun or the annoying paparazzi, not a problem. Because what I have here is the ability to put up the net. Now you see me, now you kind of don't. So guys, what's awesome about the SEL specifically is not only do you get a power driver and a power passenger seat, so talking about convenience for a second here, uh, the power driver seat is also memory. I have up to three different driver settings, okay, where you set, adjust the seat where you want it, that type of thing. Lower lumbar support, set one. Now nah, that's driver one. Oh, I have this uh, button here. Allows me when I press it to lift up the trunk uh, in the back. So as you can see, I'll press this and the trunk will open uh, in the rear so you can see that. And as you can see above me, a panoramic moonroof covering three quarters of the vehicle. Now keep in mind, launch edition on up to the SEL V6 Premium. All trim levels are coming with the panoramic moon wheel. All right, guys, inside the Volkswagen Atlas, again, this is the SEL trim. So that's going to bring you the push button start here. It's going to bring you the proximity sensor, which we saw in the rear and the front of the vehicle. It's going to bring you that dual climate control, so you can be hot here, she can be cold, vice versa. Now, what I like about this dual climate control as well, is there's a menu button here. I press that, it gives me access to the entire vehicle. So I can control the rear. Uh, 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 two rows in the back as well so if there's kids or maybe some adults who are not used to your vehicle that type of thing so you can completely can control what you want to do here or sync up the rear with the front so you have access to that too uh, basically a tablet display I think Honda did a good job when they kind of brought this to market in their Honda Pilot so now Volkswagen has it so two points for Volkswagen so the automatic uh, shut off and turn on the end called the uh, start stop system. So it's deactivated right now. I press that button again, it's activated. So when you're at a red light or a stop sign for more than a couple seconds, the engine actually turns off uh, just to kind of conserve fuel. SE with tech and above comes now standard with an automatic starter. So for a while there, Volkswagen, you really couldn't get the automatic starter, even aftermarket, because they'd have to cut into the wiring harness, might void warranty, that type of thing. And you couldn't really get it unless you went with like the V6, uh, SEL and above type trim levels. But now it's found in the middle, tri the, the, the middle echelon of the trim levels and above. So more access of ease that way. It's coming standard with a car net I like. I like the ability for the fog lights, the automatic LED daytime running lights and night lights. I mean, guys, just a plethora, plethora of things in the Atlas. And never mind talking about how it drives. Um, does not drive like a three-row passenger SUV. Extremely quiet for a V6, extremely smooth, and a tremendous, tremendous amount of torque and acceleration. Um, but guys, just don't take my word for it. Uh, why don't you come in, check it out, test drive it, see for yourself. Guys, I'm Automotive Point Man, signing off, shopuslast.com. You can find me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We'll see you soon. Thanks.